Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're getting steamy in the kitchen making stacked salads in mason jars. I love using mason jars for my stacked salads. They're a quick and simple way to have a reusable lunchbox and they look really cool. Now, for our ingredients today, we are inspired by Salad Nicoise, which is a great salad made in the south of France. And we've got all of our ingredients right here. We've got freshly ground black pepper, kosher salt, one tablespoon of grainy mustard, one tablespoon of liquid honey, some extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, we've got one Yukon Gold potato that's been sliced, one tin of flaked tuna, two hard-boiled eggs that have been chopped, a handful of blanched green beans, one red onion, one red pepper, garlic, baby arugula, some beautiful heirloom tomatoes, and then one whole cucumber. Making a salad stacked in a mason jar is so quick and portable and our recipe is really simple. We're going to start with our vegetable medley. Now for that we had our onion, pepper, our blanched green beans and our cucumber. So what we're going to be doing is so simple. We're just going to slice them up roughly and then toss them together with a little salt. So we're going to start with our cucumber here. We're just going to use a couple of inches of cucumber because we're only making two jars. Put the rest aside. So we're just going to come in and we're going to go ahead and slice our cucumber lengthwise. And using one half at a time, we're just going to slice lengthwise again and then come back and just about quarter inch size chunks. This is going to give us something nice and meaty to bite into in our salad. Into our bowl. Next up, we've got our red pepper. We're not going to be using the whole red pepper. We're just going to be using half of it. Discard any of the seeds or any of the membrane from the inside that gets stuck. And then again, we're just going to roughly chop these. So we'll probably lengthwise into about thirds and then crosswise just into the same size pieces as our cucumber and into our bowl. Perfect. Now, we're going to be moving over to the red onion. Now, if you're a crier, make sure you put the onion in the freezer for 15 minutes before you start this. So we'll just remove both tips. Slice down the side carefully and remove that peel. Now, the red onion is going to be what adds a bit of a sweet crunch to our salad. It's so good for that. Just discard all of that. Now for our onion, we're just going to be slicing it. So we're going to cut it in half and with just about half of this part, we're going to come through and we're just going to thinly slice it. Perfect. We don't want too much onion, dragon breath for the rest of the day. And then our onion, we're just going to start breaking it into the rest of our veggies just so we have these nice strips of onion. It gets so nice and colorful in here. We're getting all of these nice colors from our peppers and our cucumbers. Perfect. So now that we have all of that in here, we are going to be doing a little pinch of salt. And this pinch of salt is going to be what helps to draw out all the natural sweetness that's already in our veggies. And it's almost going to be like a little mini dressing. So we set that aside. The last few ingredients that we'll be adding to our salad are our green beans, which have been blanched so that they've just got a firm texture, but they're a little cooked. And we're going to slice them in half so they're, they're a better size for our mason jar. And then we're going to grab a handful of these beautiful heirloom cherry tomatoes. Now, if you can't get cherry tomatoes um, that are heirlooms, you can definitely just use the normal ones. We'll just grab a couple here. And we're just going to cut them down until they're about a quarter of the size they are now. Just, again, we want them to be nice, forkable pieces inside of our mason jar. These ones we'll just cut in half. Amazing. 
So now we have all of our veggies and all of our meat and protein ready for our salad. The last thing we need is our dressing. Now for our dressing, we've got a big measuring cup here and we're gonna just add our mustard, the honey that we had before. This is gonna sweeten it up and help bind all of the ingredients together. I love honey in a salad dressing. Oh, so nice, it adds so much balance. We'll add a little salt to season it up and some of our freshly ground black pepper. And what I like to do to make sure that we get the honey incorporated now is I like to start whisking just to get all of this combined so that when we drizzle in our vinegar, it's already gonna start to come together nicely. There we go. So we've got all of our ingredients mixed together and the last thing is our olive oil. Now this is a process called emulsifying and we are gonna drizzle in olive oil while whisking to make sure that the vinegar and the oil gets completely combined. Perfect. A little more of a whisk here. There you go, perfectly combined, so much flavor and a nice acidity which is gonna balance out the rest of our salad. Now that our salad dressing is all emulsified, all we need to add in is one chopped clove of garlic, and that is gonna be such a yummy hit of flavor for our salad. Now that we have all of our ingredients prepped, it's time to assemble our stacked salad. So we have one of our super cute mason jars here. Now you can stack this however you want. This is how I like to do it. First, I'm gonna start with some of those ultra colorful veggies that we chopped together. And we're just gonna dump them right into the bottom here. Whoops, catch any strays. Next up, one of our proteins. Now, this hard boiled egg is not only beautiful and colorful, but it's also an amazing lean protein that is gonna keep you full, full, full all day. To break up our proteins, we're gonna add a little layer of some of our cold potato. This is our starch, it's gonna help balance out all that protein and make sure that we stay full until dinner time. On top of that, we're gonna add another little layer of protein, which is our tuna. Stack that, break it up a little bit if it's still kinda of chunky. Perfect. All we have left is a few of our green beans broken up, which is such a signature ingredient in a salad niçoise. Adds a great crunch. A few of our heirloom cherry tomatoes. And a little hit from some fresh baby arugula. Perfect, get that all in there. Then all we need to do is just seal it off and pop it in the fridge until we're ready to enjoy. And in case you were wondering how we're gonna get our delicious balsamic dressing to the office, we have these amazing mini mason jars that we can just pour our dressing into, seal off, and no leaks. Perfect, we've got our salad and our dressing all ready to go. I'm Amanda and thank you so much for watching The Hot Plate. Make sure to check out this and all of our other fantastic episodes at thehotplate.com and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.